Transitions can either make or break your video if not done properly. So in today's video, I will be walking you guys through five cinematic transitions that you can do in CapCut PC. And guess what? You can create the same transitions using the mobile and online version of CapCut. All right, guys, let's get started. Speed ramping transitions. This is when you speed up the ending part of the first clip and speed up the start of the second clip. All right, so now I have two clips in my timeline right here. And now what I wanna do is click on the first one first of all and click on stabilize and we will just leave it at recommended. And now do the same thing with the second clip. Stabilize that one, just like that. Now we wanna go back to the first clip and what we want to do here is go to speed. Now we want to click on this flash out right here and this will open up. So now what we want to do is first of all, untick this first one. So just click on the minus sign right here and then drag this one down here and this one way up here. So to the max, this is the max we can do just like that. And let's see how the speed looks like. This looks pretty good, so we can leave it like that. Now we do the same thing for the second clip. So click on speed again, and this time we have to click on flash in. So here, what we will do again is click the minus sign and drag this one down here, both of them, and then make them more here, and drag this one up to 10x, just like that. And now our transition is finished. This already looks really good, but to make it even better, we can add some motion blur. So that's what we're gonna do. Click here on the clip and then scroll down to motion blur and we will put the blur to somewhere like 60 and then the blend into somewhere like 50. Um, that should do it. And now we'll do the same thing with the second clip, of course. So scroll down here, click on motion blur, 60. 50. So now we have something like this. If you ask me, this is pretty clean and a really good transition. Now let's move on to number two and that is J and L cut transitions. Basically they are sound transitions and they are in the shape of J and L. And the J cut is basically when you already hear the sound for the second video in the first video. I will show you that in a bit, it will make sense. And the L cut transition is basically when you still hear the audio from the first video once it has transitioned into the second clip. So let's start with J cut. So what we will do right here is trim the beginning of the second video. And now what we wanna do is extract the audio. So just click on here and extract audio. And now drag the audio in a bit. Now to make it even better, we can fade this in. So just click on this and fade it in a bit and then it will be really smooth. And now we have something like this. A really, really nice transition to make it all smooth. And now L cut, it's basically the opposite of J cut. I will have used the same two clips for this. So I will start out with the football clip here in the beginning and then the stadium after. Now what we want to do is crop the end of the first video, just like that, and now extract the audio again and do the same thing. Just make it longer and fade it out this time. So it will look something like this. You can of course also have some audio on the second clip, then it will be even smoother, but I think you get how it works and you can see why it's called L cut because it's in the shape of L. But now let's move on to the next one. Now number three is a bit more complex and that is the masking transition. Now with this transition, it has to be an object or a person walking in front of the screen. Um, so we can basically mask it and transition through that. I'll show you how to do it. It will make sense in a bit. I couldn't really find a good clip of this and good resolution. So we'll just have to work with this one, but it will do because it's basically just about understanding this. So as you guys can see in the first video, there's a man crossing the screen and we're gonna use that to transition to a second clip. So now what we wanna do is go to the first clip, click on mask and now click on horizontal and now rotate it to 90 degrees or however you need it to be. 
and now I will look where the person is. I actually got to rotate it in another direction, just like this. Now we have to create keyframes to this for this mask to follow the person. So what we're gonna do is basically set a keyframe on position and rotate right here. Now go in front a bit, drag it, and it will set another keyframe. And now we basically have to do it until the person has walked past that screen. So I will just quickly do that and be back then. So it should look something like this now, as you guys can see, it comes here with the person. Now all that is left to do is basically place the second video beneath the first video and now we'll have something like this. Now as you guys can see with the person walking here, this is basically cutting off half of the person. So it doesn't look too clean. So what we can do is I will import that clip once again. And now what we can do is basically use the auto cutter to cut out the person. So we will just quickly do that. So now it looks something like this. Of course, I didn't have the best clip, but it looks pretty clean still. Pretty nice transition. Of course, if you have a better clip with, for example, a tree, you can make it perfect. But yeah, this is a really nice transition. So let's move on to the next one. Now the next transition is the overlay transitions. This is a pretty easy one. You can basically download an overlay transition from somewhere like YouTube. And as you guys can see, I have one right here and I basically just got this from YouTube. So now what we want to do is basically put this overlay transition over your two clips where you want to transition. And now you have to crop it a bit to the part you like, something like this. This looks good already. So we can remove the rest and then put it over the transition, of course. And now what we want to do is go on that clip and blend mode. We were going to put in screen just like that. And now it should look something like this. So pretty simple transition. You can of course make it longer too. Or use a different one. There are a lot of different transitions. This is like a overlay light transition. You can also use like this flame transition that Iman Gazi commonly uses and yeah, make it really, really nice if you transition um, from one thing to another. Now let's have a look at the last transition and that is also a pretty simple transition, but really, really good. If you, for example, have to transition from a fast paced edit to a slower paced edit and that is the fade out fade in transition. So basically what you will do is you have two clips again, like here. And now what you want to do to transition from this to the other clip is to go onto the first clip, go onto animation out and then choose the fade out animation. Now you can make this a bit longer than five seconds, uh, five milliseconds or even shorter. Something like this will work. Now we will go to the library and choose the back background and put it in the middle here. Now crop it a bit, so remove the rest of this. We don't need that. And now to make it really smooth, because this doesn't look good at all if it just pops up again, what we're gonna do is put another animation and this time an in animation and it's the fade in animation we need here. So this transition, once you've put it all together, will look something like this. So it's really nice to just have a quick stop or you know, transition from one edit to another. I hope you guys enjoyed this CapCut tutorial. You can do this even with mobile. So I hope a lot of you guys enjoyed this and make sure to leave a like and to subscribe if you want more videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.